turn to the Lord and do it, church. Come on, every hand up. <laughs> every hand up. Max, you might not know this song, but with, with my hands lifted up, and my heart filled with praise. Jesus, how about you? Anybody know Jesus in the house? Yes. Yes. Anybody know Jesus? You know, it gets to a point in your life where you ain't got to do a whole bunch of fluff. It's just, I just love you, Jesus. Yes. You know, you know, it gets to the point where, you know, you ain't always got to quote a scripture, praise the Lord, or do whatever. You just, just tell the Lord Jesus love. I need somebody to say, just tell God I love you right now. I love you. Somebody to tell him I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. You might want to turn, turn me down, too. I'm loud. Praise him. I don't like loud. I like perfect. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's not perfect. That's loud. Hallelujah. So just turn turn, turn up my mic down a little bit. I do, I do have this mic. If I want to do it, I'll just cover it like this. But I'm not going to do that. Amen. Just turn, just turn my slide down. Turn my power down. Amen. Because I want you to hear what I have to say. Amen. And not be so. So I wish he'd shut up. You know, that's what the, that's what the saints be saying. But the preacher preached too long. Amen. I, I'm at home. Okay, I can talk when I'm at home, right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I'm just glad to be here. So glad to see you, you, and you today. Amen. And uh, we're going to move into, into our offertory 
Amen. Ask God to help us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so glad to see you, you, and you out in the house of God. We do have one card here. We got Thomas Osage. Let's give God praise for Brother Thomas. Fuquay. As hard as I believe, Thomas, I know exactly where Fuquay is. I got a cousin that lives in Apex. Amen. Praise God. He's been there for 25 years. So, amen. I haven't been down there in a little while, but thank you for being with us in Jesus' name. God bless you, Brother Max. Amen. 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 I, I love the multicultural types of music going on in the house of God. Amen. 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 We got, uh, you know, we got uh, 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 Jamaican in the house. Somebody say amen. 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 I know we got some African American because y'all love the dance and shout. See, I hopped on to Leslie already. See, praise the Lord. Amen. But I love that we have different diversities in the house of God. I think one of the beauties of God's house is that he can take men from different cultures, different nationalities, different backgrounds, and blend them into one body. Amen. And that's the beauty of God's house. I, like, I often like to say, if everybody was exactly like you in the church, the church would be a born place. Amen. 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 You know, right? <laughs> exactly like the church would be a born place. We thank God that God is bringing, amen. He, he calls from all cultures, all, and guess what, church? God, before the rapture takes place, you got to be ready for the church. The church got to get desegregated. Amen. 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 The church got to get desegregated. One of the most, we're, we're one of the most segregated places in the country is this morning. Amen. amen. I said amen. Why are y'all looking at me like That's I'm talking right. crazy? This is the truth. Because guess what? Ain't going to be no white section, no black section in, in heaven. It's going to be a blood-washed section. Amen. Y'all, oh, somebody don't hear me. Anybody blood-washed? Yes. Amen. Anybody from blood-washed? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to be in that blood-washed section. There's going to be the angel section, and there's going to be the blood section. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the angel section is going to tell us to be quiet. <laughs> but we don't get quiet. Come on now. Because we've been redeemed by the blood. Amen. Yes. Of the Lamb. Amen. Praise Him. Yes. Anybody been just redeemed by the blood of the Lamb? Yes. Anybody just glad about being saved this morning? Hallelujah. Anybody just glad about being baptized yes. in His name? Yes. Anybody glad about the same Spirit that rose Christ Jesus from the dead? Every so often makes you hang like this. Yes. Praise Him. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's that real Holy Ghost. Real, real Holy Ghost make you hang like this. Yes. Praise Him. That, that's that real Holy Ghost. Amen. Make, make your foot kick out. Praise the Lord. Make you uh, uh, do a little dance when ain't no music. Hallelujah. I got, I got to move on. I'm just having a good time. I just believe I'm coming to church and having a good time. Hallelujah. Why, why come to church and be bored? Come on, man. I want to come to church and dance and praise God with my brothers and my sisters. You know, we come together to give God the praise. Amen. You know, I don't like to use it, but somebody uses it, but I'm not going to use it. But I am going to use it. Ain't no party like the Holy Ghost. It really isn't. Amen. But I ain't here to party. I'm here to praise. Amen. Amen. I ain't really here to party. The party is about me and about my cup. Oh, watch out. Praise the Lord. About what I can get. Praise the Lord. But when we come into the house of God, it's about giving God the praise. Amen. Man. Somebody take about five seconds to give God praise. Right Hallelujah. Here. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Hallelujah. Hold on, hold on. I want y'all to look at the list up there and find your praise. Everybody find their praise on the list. Find you a new praise. And in about three seconds, I want you to do that right now. One, two, three, your new praise. relevant in your life. And the only way something becomes relevant in life is that you got to do it seven times, right? 
Amen. You, got, you got to do it at least seven times for it to become new. So you got seven opportunities. I'm pretty sure I'm going to tell you to praise him at least seven more times a day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory. So, 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 so when you go home, they're going to say, what happened to you? I went down to praise him and got me a new praise. Amen. <laughs> right now, I pray you got me a new praise, and that's just not. I used to dance, but now I just wave. Amen. All right, y'all can't go with me today. So, amen. It's offering time. Come on, clap your hands, y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Happy Father's Day once again. Hallelujah. And thank God for you, you, and you being in the house of God. Three ways to give this morning. Amen. Text to give, give the five. As I told you before, we'll be moving into maybe some new platforms to help ease the ability to give, but look for those on the horizon, but these are our current ones. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also know, praise God, we've been teaching about how to give a little bit more every 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 year so that God can bless you more every year. Amen? Amen. 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 So if you have not been able to get into the giving program, get on, get on that. Praise the Lord. It is now June. Praise the Lord. So you got six months left of your current giving plan, and I'm striving and challenging you just give a little bit more. Amen? Amen. I went to McDonald's. I got two cheeseburgers, a small strawberry shake, and fries. He said, I'll give you a total at the window. That the joker said, twelve ninety six. I said, Yeah, that's right. I said, where did two cheeseburgers, a small strawberry shake, and fries get to be $13? I said, is that right? He said, that's right. I was going to tell him he could keep it. <laughs> I was going to tell him, you know, you can keep that strawberry shake. Huh? Get the app. Get the app. I don't like McDonald's that much. <laughs> Only thing I like that much is Starbucks. I got that app. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But, the guy, but, but what I'm trying to understand is that, is that, is that things cost a little more. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and your George Washington just ain't going as far as George, George used to go. Amen. So it's time to move on up. Thank you, Al Mountain, two or three with there with the time you move on to Hamilton. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. So, so, so this is the way, church, we stay ahead of the inflationary curve. Amen? amen. Because God's kingdom is past the man's kingdom. Can we say amen? amen. So just, just encouraging you, praise the Lord. To do a little, let God lead you. Somebody say, look at somebody say, let God lead you. Yeah. Hey, let God do that. Praise God. Amen. And he tells us all, bring all the tithes and offerings to the storehouse of baby Let's give God praise for our young people. Come on, clap your hands. Let's give God praise for them. Amen. And they, didn't they do such a wonderful job last week? You know, they've been singing. And, you know, I got to say something. They've been singing. And last week, they were all singing in the mic. Amen. I love Jesus. How about you? I'm like, when did they start? You know, before they be like, they're singing. So next thing you know, they're going to start, somebody's going to start busting out speaking in tongues. Amen. 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 Come on now. I need, I need some saints to believe that. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he dwells in the midst of the praise. Amen. They get up here and don't praise them. So, so we got to encourage them as they praise in God. And God's going to get ready to save a few of them in Jesus' name. But God says he'll open the windows of heaven for our blessings shall be room to receive it. Amen. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And you're filled with uncast your face before time. Amen. And we're going to say our faith statement. Praise God. Everybody ready? Lord. Lord. This is your tithe. This is, your tithe. This is my offering. This is my offering. Not a debt I owe. Not a debt I owe. But a seed I sow. I, I, I give it cheerfully. I give it cheerfully. Bless, me Bless me abundantly. Bless praise him a tremendous. Praise him a tremendous. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say get planted. Get planted. Grow. Grow. And prosper. And prosper. Somebody clap your hands. Give it back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll take up our physical offering in the service. Service, praise the Lord. Amen. But we're going to move on to the word of God. Because I'm going to let the fathers go today. I, I got 20 minutes deep. Praise the Lord. I'm going to take 20 more. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. A little song on my heart. I just want to sing before we get into the word of God. So again, welcome everybody in the house of God today. See my daughter over there. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name. That's right. I'm going to take you with mine. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I want to sing a little bit of this song. I just want to sing the chorus a couple of times and we'll get into the word. How great is our God. Sing with me how great. If you believe that, come on, stand up. Is our God. All the sea, how great. 
seeking that which is gone astray? And if so, be that he find it. Verily I say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety-nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. Father, we give you praise and thank you for your grace today. Speak to our heart, because you have a great name. It's above all names. At your name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that you're Lord of all. God, speak to our hearts today. Bless every father in the house of God. In the name of Jesus. Bless every mother that's a father in the house of God. Bless those that are with us. Help us, oh God, to see, oh God, how great you are. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. We have a seat in the house of God. Father's looking for you. Amen. I said, Father is looking for you. So I thought for today. Say praise the Lord, everybody with us today. Praise God who's with us online. Again, happy Father's Day. But a thought that the Lord dropped in my spirit this week was that the Lord has you on his mind. Amen. 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 We live in a day and age where so many things come into our minds to fight us, gets keeping us focused that God loves us so. Chance and happenstance happen unto us all. Amen. Circumstance, situations, all these things happen in the life that we live. The enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. But God, Jesus says in this gospel that I've come that you might have life and have this life more abundantly. Today, I believe I'm speaking to somebody who seemingly seems that life is no longer worth living. Speak to the spirit of suicide and command you to go in the name of Jesus. Because life is worth living to us. Amen. If a man dies, shall he live again? Job says, all my appointed days, I'm going to wait till my change come. Your change is here today. His name is Jesus. Amen. Matthew is sharing with us the heart of Jesus. When we get here to Matthew chapter 18, being the first book of the New Testament of the Bible, praise God, book number, praise the Lord. Uh, I believe uh, there are 66 books in the Bible. Uh, I, uh, I don't know why I can't remember today. Uh, I think there are uh, 37 in the Old Testament. There's 39 in the Old Testament. Uh, and then what? Uh, uh, 27 in the New Testament. So this becomes the 40th book of the Bible. Amen? The 40th chapter of, the 40, of, of Isaiah, praise the Lord, and the 40th book has something in common. The book of Isaiah, he says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount with wings on eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. He says, Wait, I, Jesus says, Wait, I say on the Lord. So these, this 40th, they know 40 speaks of generational 40 days. Amen. In the uh, wilderness. Amen. 40 days. Moses spent it up in the mountain. 40 days. Praise God. Amen. Elijah spent on the, the backside. Amen. Fasting. Praise God. 40 days. Jesus spent on the mountain. Praise God. Fasting. So this, this, this here, this book is prevalent because it speaks of the great things that God will do through a person that commits themselves to his ways. Amen. It speaks of, praise the Lord. Amen. The power of faith. It speaks, amen, to the power of trust and confidence and hope in what which we have learned of God. The Bible tells us that we got to grow in the nurture and the admonition of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And you need to look at somebody and say, are you growing in Jesus today? And if the answer is yes, praise the Lord, I want to I give you a, a, a news bulletin. 
trouble and tragedy and circumstance is on your case. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because, praise God, he tells us, praise God, that, 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 that persecution and trouble shows up to the one that's striving to live for Christ. Jesus, when he was in the garden, Jesus, as he went from judgment hall to judgment hall, Jesus, as he was nailed to the cross, was in the divine, perfect will of God. But he went through the hardest trial he had to go through. A lot of times people don't understand, praise God, that the test and trial does not mean you're not in the will of God. The test of trial just means that you're right where God wants you to be because he says, Jesus says in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, for the joy that was set before me, I endured the cross, I despised the shame, and when I got done, I gained, I sat down on majesty on high. I'm here to let somebody know as you're going through your trouble, as you're going through your triumph, as you're going through your problems, there's joy on the other side of your situation. I need somebody to hear me today. Hallelujah. Stop looking at your situation and know that there's joy on and full of glory on the other side of your situation. Amen. On the other side of your situation. People don't like to think that right now because it hurts. It's, it's terrible. It's tough. It's a struggle. Amen. Praise the Lord. And here we see a Matthew, the 18th chapter. The Bible declares as Matthew is writing to us in the 12th verse. Praise God. This whole section where Jesus is speaking of these parables. He says, how think you of a man, praise God, has a hundred sheep, praise God. And one of them goes astray. Amen. Praise God. Does he not go after, amen, and try to find, praise God, that one. I'm here to let us know today that at some point in all of our lives, we've been that one. At some point, praise God, at some point in our situation, all of us has been that person that has been gone away. Hallelujah. Amen. And we went into, praise God, a crazy place. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus goes into the mountains and seeking that which is gone astray. Uh, we don't see God getting mad at that person. I'm here to let you know, praise God, God's not mad at you. Huh? Some people believe God's mad at them. Huh? I used to believe that, praise the Lord. See, I went through some things in my life, and I thought God was mad at me, praise God. But I'm here to give you a news flash. God's not mad at you. Huh? God's trying to strengthen you huh? and trying to help you huh? to understand huh? that you can't go through this by yourself. Huh? That I'm here to be someone, and when you get lost, huh? I'm coming looking for you. I'm here to let you know today that the Father is looking for you in whatever situation and whatever mountain situation uh, you got your own self into. Uh, some of us get ourselves uh, into some bad situations. Uh, some of us get ourselves into some bad circumstances. Uh, but that does not keep God uh, from coming uh, and checking on us. Uh, has anybody ever been in a bad situation uh, and you got yourself in that situation but God got you out of it? Yeah. Amen. 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 I, I was going to strike. I got my own self in the situation, but God did not leave me there. And that's what fathers do on this Father's Day. That fathers, amen, praise God, amen, go, amen, the extra mile. Now, fathers are not like mothers. Uh, fathers are not always nurturers. Uh, a father, praise God, uh, holds a rod of correction. Uh, hallelujah. He may not, amen, come and cuddle you, uh, but he, he's not going to leave you there. Uh, he's going to strengthen you and say, get up there, boy. Get up there, girl. Come on. You can make it in your situation. A mother's going to pick him up and Hope and squeeze on them. My father said, Get up and keep on pushing, bro. Amen. That's why a child needs to hear the voice of a mother Amen. and a father. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it takes both, really, both of us. And that's why the enemy in the destruction of the family, praise God, is actually an attack against the church. Amen. The destruction of pulling fathers out of the home. Praise God, because we have one Father that needs to speak to our lives and encourage us. Amen. we got to hear the voice of Him. Hallelujah. That is strong. Praise God. Hear the voice of Him. Praise God. That is fearless. In, the, my, in spite of a fearful situation, we, hallelujah, have to stand when we're scared out of our brain sometimes. Uh, trusting in the Lord. Amen. 
Jesus, praise God, goes on down through here and he begins to talk about, amen, about this man. Now Jesus is talking about the part of the Sabbath day. They thought the Sabbath day was so holy that they wouldn't go and get somebody. Let me tell you something. The best time to go get somebody when you've been anointed and appointed by the power of God. There's no greater day, amen, to go after somebody. It's in that they're, on the, they're on the Sabbath day or on the Sunday day. Praise God, because that's the day that God, hallelujah, is going to manifest himself in our midst, praise God. Jesus begins to go on down through here, amen, he lets them know, praise God, that he's going to find you, amen, praise God. There's no place that you can hide from God, let me say that again, there's no place, hallelujah, that you can go that God don't know about, hallelujah, you can smoke weed till the whole room is full, hallelujah, and God knows how to tap you on your shoulder and say, what in the world are you doing? You, you, God, you know how, praise God, to give yourself the full of the world, hallelujah, and allow your mind to fall away from the promises and the principle of God, and the, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, knows how to mess with you, I'm here to let you know, for some of your ex-drug users, it's nothing worse than you trying to get high, and God start talking to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing worse than that, because you think you got away. You may not have physically got away, but you think that you're trying to get out of his presence by getting in the presence of something else. Amen. Church, I'm here to let you know that there's nothing that can keep God out of your life when he wants to step into your life. Amen. Thank you. I don't care how far away you go. David said, I take the wings in the morning, go to the most up to the upper places down right there. He said, I make my bed help down right there. There's no place I can run from the presence of God. Hallelujah. And God is so gracious. Aren't you glad about the graciousness of God? Aren't you glad about the mercy of God? That praise God, he'll go down. I don't care what rabbit hole you dive into. Hallelujah. You might dive into hallelujah, deep trouble and tragic, praise God. But he's going down to pull you out. I'm here to let you know that the God we serve, he's looking for us. I don't care, praise God, what your mindset is. I don't care how sick, how deviant the thought is. God knows how to reach way down and pull you out of that situation. What you have to understand, praise the Lord, is that you've got to be willing to to want to be saved. You got to be willing to, to want to be delivered. God will let you stay right there. But if you want to be set free, he'll set you free. Because the Bible says, who the Son has set free is free indeed. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I have a witness in the house of God today that needs to be caught up, tangled up, tied up in some situations, in some mindsets. But the Lord, hallelujah, Snatch me out of my situation. The Bible says he'll set your feet on straight street. He'll keep you peace of mind. I need somebody. Just wave your hands and let me know that God is a deliverer. God is a way maker. God will set you free. Has they set anybody free in this house? I need somebody to give God a a free brain and I want to shout and I want to shout the battle of the sin and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty he said we're two or three are gathered together in his name he'll be in the midst he's in this house so you gotta be free come out of that situation come out of that circumstance cause God is here to set you free come on clap those hands give God a praise for not I said, he didn't leave me in that situation. He didn't leave me down that rabbit hole. He didn't leave me in that same state of mind. Hallelujah. We got the devil on our case, church. We got the enemy trying to take us out. He's trying to wrap up our hearts and wrap up our minds and pull us away from the promises and the precepts that God has settled in my spirit from a child. He's hoping that the children don't get no word in them. He's hoping that the children don't get no understanding. Because trouble shows up and tries to snatch that word out of my heart. He's hoping that you don't learn about Noah and the ark. Come on, somebody. 
He's hoping that you don't learn about the resurrection and the life. He's hoping that you don't learn as a child the Sunday school lessons that we go through. But the Bible says if you train up a child in the way that it should go, when he get older, he shall not depart. So you might have some children that be prophesied. Those children, they coming home because you're putting in a lot. Those children are coming to the house. They might not come to this house, but they're going to get to God's house. And hallelujah, are gone. They may never step foot in praise temple. Just let them be saved somewhere. Come on, somebody. I need you to give God praise. Because God's going to save your children. Because you put it in on. And when they get old, they shall not depart from his principles. Come on, give God some praise. Coming home. Look at somebody say they're coming home. They coming home. I need somebody to put your hand on your face by him and just pop. Look at somebody. Look at somebody. You know you got some children. Pray to God and say they're coming home. They're coming home. They're coming home. They're coming home, man. That's right. That's right. Speak up confidence home. to your brother and sister. Give them a word of hope. Because a preacher can't preach it all himself. Sometimes they need somebody to help them preach the word. You need to open your mouth and look at somebody. Look them dead in the eyeball and say hallelujah. Devil got to release them. Because the devil got to release them. And they're coming home. They'll give God praise in advance for what he's going to do in your neighbor's life.
Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody may not pick up my feel somebody said, Pastor, talking about. I ain't talking about you. God is concerned. God is looking for you. Yeah. Father, looking for you. Yeah. I remember growing up, praise the Lord, and you were out of place, having three or four brothers, and you're supposed to be home, and you're doing something else, and one of your brothers come looking for you. They, they didn't say, hi, hello, how you doing? They said, Mom and Dad looking for you. you. That was, that was a whole conversation with them. And you knew right then, you were trying to figure out how you're going to negotiate yourself out of this situation. Right? Yeah. You ride your bike all the way home, praying and asking God, give me something to say that is slightly the truth. My God. Get away. Right. Come on, somebody. That's, that, that has a hinge of track, but I can't lie. Right. Amen. But I can, I can kind of go around the corner yes, trying to figure out. How I'm going to get myself out of this situation. Because Father's looking for me. But I've come to understand that it's best to come open and honest with the Father. Amen. I didn't get no, I didn't get beat up at all by my dad when I told him the truth. The only time I got a fist in the face was when I told him uh, a lie. You said it, I didn't say it. <laughs> when, I, when, I, when, I, when I painted the truth, someone don't talk about it. Someone don't talk about it, don't you? I just kind of painted it a little bit. But I never got in trouble for just saying, this is what I did. I was out of place, Dad. This is where I was. This is what I was doing. And you know what he'll say? He'll plus and listen to what I told you about that. But he said, now, go on about your business. That was the way of money that came out. But if I would have told a big one, a big whopper, I was going to get a big whopper in the, in, in the chest. Because mm-hmm. my dad liked to come and punch you in the chest. Amen. He's only this tall. Amen, He's only this tall, right? Amen. But it, it's, like, it's like the Holy Ghost got in that fist. <laughs> <laughs> he hit you in the chest. It's like all, all, every bit of breath in you go leave. Oh, how, yes, Lord. Like, how could this little man hit you this hard? You wouldn't believe me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> calling on Jesus now. <laughs> you want to call on Jesus down the street at your buddy's house? Oh, yes. <laughs> But this is what God does. What God does is that he wants you, when he finds you, for you to be open and honest with him. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. How shall a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed to God's word. What is God's word? That God's word is truth. And God wants us to be open and honest with him where I am. Amen. Because the only way I'm going to get out of where I am and get back to where I need to be is to be open and honest with him. Right. And tell him about me and about my situation. I'm broken. I'm bruised. I'm damaged. And we have to be open and honest. We have to have the right attitude. We have to have the right mindset to understand that there's somebody who's thinking about me. Amen. Amen. I got to know, praise God, that he'll never leave me nor forsake me in my situation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is looking for you today. Mm -hmm. And he is everywhere. David says, Created me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit. Right, David? Praise the Lord. It's trying to seek after God. But God didn't go nowhere. Amen. God was here. It was us that tried to get away from God. And God is letting us know today through Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. And the book of Matthew, praise the Lord, is that he's coming and seeking that you might be saved. Safe from what? Safe from yourself. Amen. I'm speaking to all you cutters up in here. Mm. I feel it today. Yeah. Amen. Self-harm people. Mm-hmm. Let me talk to you. God's trying to save you from yourself. From you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because in this flesh, love my church, no good thing. I need to trade in my righteousness and put on his righteousness. Church, God is speaking to the body of Christ today in that we got to get ready to get out of here. Amen. Some of us got blemishes in our garments 
and God is chasing us down with some blood to try to get those stains out of our garment so that when he says, come ye my people, praise the Lord, he'll find everything in him and nothing of the world in him. Amen. But you keep resisting the move and the plan of God. Every time mama come in the room and say, let us pray, you go to the Lord. Uh, uh, I'll be quiet over here. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Lord. Every time God, hallelujah, is trying to speak to you through the brothers or the deacons or the mothers in the church, you're trying to get out of their presence. Amen. Amen. But God's looking for you. Amen. How do you know you got a job to do? How do you know you got a ministry? Amen. On, Does everybody know you got a ministry? Come on now. And Jesus paid the price for your ministry on the cross. But every time Nigga Murray said, you know, I need you to do X and Y. I didn't even say D. Well, I can't find you. <laughs> but every time Nick goes say, All right, can you? And you like, oh, you got the wrong one. No, you are the one. Mm-hmm. I said you are the one. Amen. God is reaching out to us today. Mm-hmm. I'm all right. I'm done already. God is reaching out to us today. That he says, even not the will of your father, which is in heaven, that one of these little ones should perish. The father is looking for you. Amen. Stop offering God every excuse. That you don't even believe in. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I'm late. You want time every place else. Until it comes to the things of God. Because you're afraid that as long will call you up to pray. Watch out. You're afraid that as long will call you up to give a scripture. No. That might be your spot today. God's trying to show you, you. That you have a ministry. That you have a purpose. That you have a seat in the house of God, in the presence of God. And God wants to use you to reach somebody. He cannot let you die in that place because there's somebody you got to minister to. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. There is a mindset that he has to deliver you from because he's trying to transform you through the renewing of your mind. Jesus walked with those disciples three years. And even after three years, what happened to them? They come and get take Jesus in the garden, don't they, church? And what happened to the 12 disciples? They scattered like roaches when you turn the lights on. <laughs> did they not? Yes, he did. They saw him raise the dead. They saw him feed 5,000 multiple times. They saw him, praise God, walk in the world. But yet they did not believe fully until they were able to be filled with his spirit. Some of us believe God, but we're not walking in our full purpose because you have not yet received the tongue talking Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on now. You have a form of godliness, but you're denying the true power of the true anointing of God. The Bible says that the same Spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Yes. So also quicken your mortal mind. Mm-hmm. That's called the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's called the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Holy Ghost comes. Testifying of itself. Come on now. The Bible says that it comes speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of God gives the other. Mm. That's what the Bible says. Amen. If you got any other kind of Holy Ghost, you're living beneath the means that God has for you. Amen. 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 And you're yet in your sin Come on. if you have not been baptized in His name. Because the blood. And the name are one and the same. Amen. So you, you, you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. There's no blood associated with Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Amen. 
Blood always has a name. Y'all heard me say it again. I'm going to say it again. CSI, y'all remember CSI? They'll find a piece of blood up under here. <laughs> Get that little thing out and rub it. Don't want that. Look at this. Where you find that piece of blood? The, the, the murderers say, dang, I missed that spot. <laughs> Drop it in there. Spin it out. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Preacher, Son, Father. Uh, uncle, uh, 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 Teacher, uh, uh, Pastor. That's not what comes out. That's right. That's tight. Amen. They get that little piece of blood and a name come out. Terrence Stephen Brown. Amen. I can talk about me. Okay, I didn't kill nobody. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The blood and the name are tied together. Hallelujah. That's why, because Jesus shed his blood. That you might be free from the bondages of sin. Amen. Therefore, we are buried with him in baptism. That's Romans chapter 6. Now, before you can get to Romans chapter 10, we ain't going to talk about that this morning. I ain't got time. Before you even get to Romans chapter 10, he says, buried with him in baptism. Come on now. Therefore, you rock. How will we bear with him? He don't got a name. Amen. His name is what? Jesus. Jesus. He don't got a name. He and him are what we, in this day and age, call personal pronouns. Y'all know what they are, right? They, you know, nowadays, everybody, he, she, them, they, those. Everybody know what I'm talking about, don't you? He, he, him. He, him. He, him. Got a name. And his name is Jesus. Amen. Praise him. Make you put your personal pronouns on your email so you make sure that nobody, you don't offend nobody. Somebody know what I'm talking about, don't you? He, him, they. What's your, they say, what's your personal pronoun? My personal pronoun is him. He and him. Jesus. Amen. Ain't no them today. I, I ain't need no them today. One person saved me. Yeah. Come on now. One person delivered me. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. One person set me free. He got a name. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Right. Come on now. Because the angel said, His name shall be called Father, Son, Holy Ghost. No. The angel said, His name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. Yeah. Yeah. The last Jehovah name given. Let me, let me help y'all. Let me help, help you deep folk real quick. The last Jehovah name given was Jesus. Amen. Jesus. J E Jehovah. S U S. In the English, trans, transliterated into the Greek, talks about salvation. Jehovah had become my salvation. Jesus is his name. That's the last one after Jehovah Tiskanu. Jehovah Rapha. Uh -huh. After all those other names were given, there's one name that was given after all them. Jesus. That's who's looking for you today. His name is Jesus. Come on, man. And he has the Holy Ghost. I was going to do a demonstration. Jesus and the Holy Ghost are the same. Right? And he's looking for somebody. I said, the Bible says that the Holy Ghost is a what? A gift. He, hold, he got the Holy Ghost right here in his bosom. He said, he's seeking. He's looking around. Seeking to save that which was lost. He's looking for somebody that will praise him. He's looking for somebody that will glorify him. He's looking for somebody. What'd you say? What'd you say? Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost comes for two reasons. One, to save the sinner. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise him. <laughs> and then the Holy Ghost also comes to encourage the same. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on, man. Comes to both. Jesus walk around. Looking for somebody that will call his name. That will praise him. Somebody, y'all ain't got it yet. He's looking for somebody that will call his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's looking for somebody that will celebrate him. Of what he did. 
rose on the first day of the week. Three days. I laid in the ground for three days for you. I went to hell. Snatched the keys from the devil myself. I said, Lucifer, devil, Satan, or whatever your name is, give me what belongs to me. I looked at the grave and said, oh, grave, where's your victory? Praise the Lord. Where is your sting at? I swallowed it up in my grace and mercy. Amen. What a testimony, church. This is the testimony of Jesus Christ for you. And when you push back on God, when you push back on Him, the same testimony that saves you and speaks to your benefit will be the same testimony that if you refuse Him, punishes you to an eternity apart from him. Amen. He's going to say, did I not die for you? Amen. Did I not lay in the grave for you? Amen. Did I not go to hell and snatch the keys of death hell and the grave for you? Amen. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Amen. Same testimony. Amen. Same word that's going to save you. Amen. Same word that's going to condemn you. Amen. But why be condemned? Watch. Everybody say why. Wow. Why be condemned when you can be free? Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. 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 It only took a one time to tell who was that? Who was that? What there with Jesus? Was that, was that uh who who was that? Barabbas. Barabbas was guilty. Knew he should have went to the cross. But how many times did they have to tell Barabbas to get free? One. They say Barabbas, we gonna take Jesus. We gonna set you free. Barabbas was like, really? Peace out. <laughs> Y'all see the movie. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He's like, I'm gone. Amen. Because that's what freedom does. Anytime freedom comes knocking on your door, you should run after it. And today, freedom is knocking at somebody's door. Let us stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, ministers. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Anybody need prayer today? If you Feel like you're lost. Jesus is here to Jesus is here to find you. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. Searched high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Come on, come on, singers. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. He's searching for you. I searched high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you. Searched all over. If you're searching, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. He's searching for you. He's looking for you. I said he's looking for you. Baptized in Jesus' name. The scriptures say, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Lord, stop. Search all over. Search all over. Find nobody.
Father, looking for you. Thank you, Lord. Father, looking for you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Want that to set on your spirit. Want you to lay down at night and know God's looking for me. Come on, clap your hands. Oh, 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 come on, clap your hands. We're going to take up our offering. Let's take up our physical offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, singers. Thank you, musicians. Praise God for all of you. Amen. But if you have a physical offering you want to give to the Lord, we get ready to let you go. Amen. I know I was 45 minutes with my day. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm trying to do better. But if you want to give your offering today, you can do that at this time. Amen. You come from where you are. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing one of my favorite songs. You can't tell me. God won't be your way. You can't tell me God won't see you through. I know He can. I know He will. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. June 30th, Volunteer Sunday. Volunteer Sunday, you know, it's Fifth Sunday. Everybody say amen. 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 On Fifth Sunday, we dress down, don't we? Yeah. On Fifth Sunday, we eat, don't we? Yeah. So we're going to dress down and eat on Fifth Sunday. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. I'm taking everybody out on Fifth Sunday. Amen. I said I'm taking everybody out on Fifth amen. Sunday. Amen. amen. If you show up in the church, I'm going to let you, I'm going to take you out. Amen. Somebody say amen. So bring your mama, bring your daddy, bring your, don't, don't bring the dog, but bring, <laughs> bring the dog. I'll stop by and give him a bag of kibble. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But we want to appreciate. I want to let you know I appreciate you. And I love you. And I can't do this by myself. So I think you need to give, look at your neighbor, and if you see them done anything in the church, just look at them and give them a round of applause. Look at them. Appreciate all y'all. So we want to wear our shirts. We're going we gonna to have church. Praise the Lord. We're going cruise that. Deep cruise 20 minutes that day. And then we're going to run up here to the Gold Corral. Somebody say amen. And I'm going to tell you to come in, get your tray, get your drink, and eat. Amen. Amen. Yeah, praise him. No. And I'm going to take everybody out. No. Amen. 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 But this is something the Lord put in my heart. And the Lord told me, Evangelist Law, that if it's 50 people, do it. He says it's 500 people, do it. Amen. Just do it. And Amen. watch God bless the church. Amen. So don't be scared. If you, don't, if you bring your mama, your daddy, your aunt, and uncle, bring them. Bring them. I said bring him. Amen. 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 Praise him. What's that? July 7th. We're preaching. Kids going to camp sometime soon. Sometime there. Oh, that's bad. Who's preaching? Oh, Dick Goo preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we're going to TM camp. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Take the kids up there. Praise the Lord. And growth coming up. That's our annual conference. Food pantry. Was a success yesterday. Amen, amen. Somebody clap your hands. Give God praise for you. It was fair. Woo. Man, it was hot, but it was a success. Amen. Thank you all for who came out and was a part out there. Amen. At the fair this past week. And then, you know, Long Island is in the wings. Somebody say amen. amen. If you have not been to Long Island, if you have not been to Long Island, you need to get on the van and come on up or drive up. Amen. So that's, that's a whole different thing going on up here. But God's saving and God's delivering. Amen? Amen? Praise God. So our, these are our next three days. So I'm challenging everybody. Everybody say everybody. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, everybody get up to Long Island and one of these next three days. Can we say amen? Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. What does the Bible say about that? Starting in? Don't know. Give me a date. Oh, starting when school starts back up. What the Lord has laid on my heart. How many of y'all enjoy the transformational finance class? Amen. 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 So I'm going to be teaching the class, taking topics from you. Amen. Amen. What does the Bible say about that? And we're going to start teaching on that. So this gives a platform. There's not really a platform in the church, in Sunday school, in Sunday morning, where we get a chance really to talk about things that are on your mind. Amen. Amen. So the Lord has, I've been praying and asked the Lord how to do it. So the Lord said, offer a class, what does the Bible say? And you get to submit your topics. Amen. And we're going to dig into this Bible and see what the Bible says. Amen? Amen. So you get a chance to have a say on what's being taught in the house of God. Amen. 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 All I need you to do is text me, probably email me or something. Let me know. I got a few topics already, but one thing. But this is going to be our fall class. It's going to start. It's going to start. It's going to start. You got a form? Uh, it's already a form. We got a form. All you got to do is scan the QR code. Man, somebody give God praise for technology. <laughs> first come, first come, first. I've already got a few. But this, this is going to be on first and third Tuesdays, starting when school starts back. Amen? Amen. Not the summertime. But if there's anything that's burning in your heart that you want us to teach and talk about, we will, we, will, we, will, we will get the Hebrew and the Greek out on you and look at the words. Amen. Amen? Amen. So you have a good understanding of what's happening. Because the Bible says in all that I get and get what? Amen. And that's your purpose. So don't get mad if we don't cover your topic, especially if you don't give me one. Amen. 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 So this is time of prayer. Who's enjoying prayer? 6 a.m. prayer. Amen. Amen. I love it. Hallelujah. 
We'll let you go in Jesus' name. What about prayer? 6 a.m. Don't pray now. Pray now. We pray now. Elijah, we pray now. Come on, man. All right. Thank you, Lord. Father's Day. God bless you in Jesus' name. Come on.